Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Triangle Strategy walkthrough. Alright, so uh, this video is actually just going to be another, uh, like an alternate strategy for the last uh, video that I did. Um, and that was the Mental Knock Battle Minecart Tactics. Uh, so let's head in. Um, the, the, the last video, while I, I think I had a lot of fun, um, the, I think that the, the problem was it was very resource intensive because I... <laughs> I was using uh, Decimal and uh, Medina and just, you know, ripping through items very, very quickly quickly to restore Decimal's uh, TP. And um, that's not super... Uh, not, I, yeah, I don't know. It's not that great of a strategy, if you, especially if you're tight on cash. So uh, I wanted to throw this one in here because I think that this one is... Uh, gonna be helpful and also I think that kind of doing it this way is is kind of maybe one of the the ways to do this at an earlier level like now my, my characters now are pretty leveled up and so uh, you know this is actually gonna be fairly easy now but uh, earlier on this battle can actually be really tough especially if you're kind of maybe Please a little under leveled to me. Uh, so I think that that makes uh, th or this this strategy might work out for you know some people that haven't uh, leveled as much. Uh, I don't need Narv here. Let's get rid of you. Sorry, buddy. And let's see. All right, so we're at nine. Um, I'm gonna bring in. Uh, looks like Ian just needs some experience. Frederica actually does too. But okay. So as far as all of the characters here. Uh, Eridor needs to be here. There, there's, there's, I think, some critical characters. Uh, Benedict, Eridor, Rudolph, Huet, definitely needed, so those four. And then actually, um, I think Anna's pretty important as well. Uh, Archibald is nice. I don't know that he's necessarily you know, a must-have, but he is really nice, and especially once you get an inescapable arrow. Um, I've, I've got Izana here just to, just to provide a little bit of firepower. I'm going to be using... Um, what is your skill for? Rite of Lightning. Uh, so I'll be using that quite a bit. Uh, Saranoa, you know, also not as necessary, but he's pretty nice to have here as well. Uh, really any, like, kind of melee character works out pretty well uh, in that slot. Although I think he does make, makes the bet, the bet, or he's the best bet just because he's so strong. But, um, all right, I want to also check, um, let's see here. He's got my Jade Thumb Ring. Let's, uh, let's put this on Ian's. Where's Ian's at? I don't want to be taking Ian's into these battles a whole lot, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this on him so that he can get a little bit more experience this time around. Where's that thing at? Jade Thumb. There we are. All right, so let's get this started. Uh, begin battle. Uh, so this this time I'm gonna use carts a lot. Uh, and we're just gonna wreck the boss really really quickly uh, Also, one of the me. things that maybe you'll notice is a little bit different is uh, the last time I did this battle I, I basically made everybody start uh, Over here in these whatever these you know parts were at were at the thing is though This guy jumps into the cart right away, and he, he just ends up right here anyway And so it doesn't really do that much good to start way over here uh, Especially with this strategy. So this is kind of you know gonna be a little maybe a little sneaky, but uh, so the first thing I'm going to do here is sprint with Eridor and move right up onto the cart switch. Uh, and we'll just, you know, stand there for a little bit. And that guy jumps in the cart. Uh, Anna's going to come over here and throw poison at this guy. And then I'm going to just end her turn. I don't want to, I don't want to use any more of her TP. Uh, so Benedict's turn is pretty important. Uh, you need to make sure that you only go to this tile here. Uh, don't walk too far, or you're gonna be. We must move sorry. Fast. So we do twofold turn on Hewitt. The battle is ours. We'll move to right here and shadow stitching arrow this guy. Take aim. And that, honestly, that probably needs to land. If that doesn't land, I think it's it's best to just restart. 
uh, you really want to get that guy immobilized because you don't want to be dealing with him. Uh, so next up here is going to be to blind this bullman. From this range. And she's done for the time being. Now right here with uh, Rudolph's turn, we're going to do in tandem. And we'll use that on Huet. She has one T, uh, or she's going to have one TP, I think. So let's see here. Uh, I'm going to use straight. Nope. No, I'm going to use slumber shot. Uh, this is where things. You, you may have to do things a little bit different. We'll see. It depends on whether or not I sleep this guy or not. Okay, and it worked. Okay, well, that's obviously the, the better outcome. Um, if you can't get that guy slept, I'll, uh, I'll detail kind of what I recommend doing um, for your following turns. But. Um, Huet's turn will stay the same. We'll just You'll blind this no guy down here. And then, let's see here. I think I'm just going to stay right back in the corner. Uh, a lot of times, there's a one of those archers likes to kind of come up here and shoot Huet from behind. So I'm going to try dramatic. moving right there. Uh, Archibald, right away, we'll just use Inescapable Arrow on this uh, battle mage here. I mean, that's going to almost basically half-shotting it. When years comes wisdom. When years comes wisdom. That's right. That's right, old-timer. For the honor of House Wolfort. Uh, okay. So, okay. This is where, uh, if you didn't get that guy slept, if you didn't get the battle mage slept up there, what you need to do is uh, move somebody from right here. So you could, and I'm not going to do this, but you can move Sarah Noah to right here. Uh, then use a critical blow and just one shot this guy, or well, I guess finish him off. I should say uh, that should that should you know kill him. Uh, but I don't need to do that because uh, I got lucky and got that you know sleep to actually land. And using you know two QP right there is not so great. Ooh, went after Archibald that time. Picking on little girls. Who does that? Okay, Picoletta. I'm just gonna move over here and use a decoy. Let's throw the decoy right. Yeah, right there. That's fine. Right. Yes! I did it! It's time. Alright, now Ian's. Let's see here. Move him right here. I'm just gonna spring trap this spot. This isn't really important, the spring trap anyway. And I mean, Piccoletta's turn isn't that important. Ian's turn isn't really important either. And there's been a couple of times where I just haven't even taken them, and I've only done this with eight people. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but it, it can be kind of nice to only, it, well, to, to really not take some of the characters that are kind of weak and don't really uh, contribute that much. Uh, because the problem is with this one, um, the, you're, obviously there's a timer, and every every action one of your characters takes uh, takes one off of the timer. And so if you're if you're kind of loaded down with some of like the weaker characters, well, it's just eating up your turns and not really doing you that much good. Um, there's certainly some safety in numbers, but uh, at a certain point, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not that helpful, but. All right, so kind of one of the cool things that you can do with uh, like Azana and uh, and Narv uh, is they've got their you know electric based attacks. I mean this works with the with the uh, the thunderstones as well, but you can electrify the tracks, and that can actually paralyze <clears throat> the enemies. So you know keep that in mind. All right, unfortunately I didn't get that guy. Uh, I didn't get him paralyzed, but that's okay. Alright, so here he's gonna buff up. It's, he only ready. hits himself and uh, and that other guy. That's actually uh, kind of nice. Kind of nice that it's only uh, those two. Alright, so this turn, I'm going to move Eridor to right here. 
and um, I'll just provoke this guy. There's not that much reason to do that, but I will end this. Why not? Just for fun, just for experience. All right, Anna. Uh, I'm just gonna probably move her up top here. Um, I don't really love standing on the tracks, but I'm, I think I'm just gonna do it anyway. All right, so she's not gonna finish this guy off. So we'll just try to sleep, and there we go. Got to sleep on him. I shall try my level best. All right, so Benedict, uh, next up here is, we're going to actually move him to this spot here. And again, don't really love that he's going to be on the tracks, but uh, he kind of needs to be. So we'll just stand there. Forward. All right, and Sarah Noah. Uh, now, this is the reason why he's so nice right here. Uh, I'll be able to hawk dive this guy. Now, that's not going to finish him off, but I'm just going to use the critical blow here. And we'll hawk dive him. Death and from above. Boom, that's that. Alright, so now we don't have to. That's just you know, one less person that we have to worry about. To work. Uh, let's see here. Mr. Mr. Archer. <laughs> Mr. Rudolph. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's sleep Nash. this guy down here. Or try to, anyway. There it goes. Yeah, I'm getting really lucky with the with the sleeps. No need to panic. Normally, uh, normally it doesn't work out that well or that nice, but and we'll bomb this guy there. from downtown. The battle is ours. Shame I didn't kill him, but that will. All right, so that puts the uh, all of the. Uh, mages down and um honestly i think that they're the two you know the two characters other than the main guy that are like they're like the biggest threats uh so it's nice to be able to you know get them taken out right away <laughs> poisoned blind and sleeping all right, perfect. So, um, there, and yeah, I got really lucky there, too. Now, Benedict can actually survive the all or nothing. Now, this guy's buffed up, too, so keep that in mind. But he, he can, he can, he's really dangerous. Um, so, really, of all my characters, I think maybe Sarah Noah can take one of those as well and not, you know, just fl get flat out one shot. But uh, Benedict will survive. Eridor can survive. You know, there's probably a couple of other, too, or, uh, as well, like the, uh, what's the other, with the Planigan. Uh, will probably survive, but uh, they are very dangerous, and so you know, I just just keep that in mind. Or that guy is very dangerous, I should say. It's time. Now, um, what's going to probably happen here is these archers down here are actually going to to move over here and try to shoot Benedict from behind so that they can set up the follow-up strike from uh, the mercenary guy. So um, I'm going to try to, you know, deal with them. We'll see how well that goes. Um, let's try a another spring trap right in front of that guy. You know, I, some, some days I feel like the, the game is, it, you know, genuinely cheats and will just walk around the traps. Um, which I, who knows, maybe, maybe they can see them, I don't know, but it seems like they're, um, it seems like they're able to avoid them oftentimes very, very easily, and that can get a little frustrating, but, uh, let's see here. Now. These. Just trying to get some extra experience under her. She's still getting about 10 each action, so. My turn. Try to get what I can when I can get it. Let's Victory finish this guy I off. Feel stronger already. This is the end. And then I'm gonna move. Let's see here. I'm gonna move right here. Moving to that spot, I'll make sure I'll that that guy, the guy with the spear, can't hit um, too many characters. So here I'm gonna provoke. Come and and... Get me. Oh, I got him. Okay, well, that was pretty lucky. 
Uh, that guy doesn't always, you know, provoke very well, so, um, you know, you might have mixed results with that, but it's better to have, you know, him using regular attacks on, you know, I guess your characters, as opposed to, uh, um, what's, what, was the, what was the name of that? All or Nothing, yeah, as opposed to that, so I guess keep that in mind. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do here is... Let's do... Who has TP? Who has no TP? Hewitt has only one. Ugh, that's pretty bad. Well... This will serve well. Do a double turn on her. Uh, I'm gonna face this direction. I don't want him getting attacked from behind. And getting crits. Or getting crit on. For the honor of House Wolfort. Right. So from here, I'm gonna hawk dive this guy. Death from above. We doing this? Allow me. Okay, so Hewett, um, you know, I'm tempted to actually just blind this guy. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, actually. I'm a lot more worried about him uh, than, like, the archers. All right, so 47% is not no too bad. And that failed, so let's try it one more time. Darkness engulfs you. All right, got him the second time. Good deal. All right, thunk. There we go. Don't have to worry about that archer for a little while. Me. Weak. For me. All right. The fun begins on Sarah Noah's turn. Very well. Oh. The heavens ring. Zap. Oh, got him paralyzed too. It's pretty good stuff. I see a path to victory. I do too. I see a path to victory. I'm gonna use a. Uh, Brief rest. Oh, actually, I should have. I should use that on Eridor instead, but. You won't like beat fun. me. Let's uh. Let's just use a. Now we're basic HP <laughs> recovery item. <laughs> pretty weak, but who cares? Who cares? Your orders. sleep forward all right so here's where the fun starts uh it looks like all right so Sereno is gonna go then Rudolph then that guy then somebody there yeah okay all right so uh now this this could change depending on you know what you have available to you but um, what I'm going to do is actually a light wave Benedict off of the tracks. Now, if you used light wave earlier to try to take out this, the, the battle mage that was right here, obviously you won't have this. And so you'll have to, you'll have to play around with this a little bit more. Again, depending on what you've got available to you. Uh, Kohog is another way that you could kind of get, you know, Benedict out of the way, but that's also assuming it's his turn and you've actually brought him. Um, but so 
anyways, uh, moving him off the tracks there, obviously uh, now we're going to use the call cart. And that is going to hit him. Boom, 211 damage. And then we're just going to move, uh, which is actually going to make Sarah Noah jump into the cart and move all the way over to here. And we'll just end the turn. Boom, he takes another 211. Ready. Um, let's see here. So now I'm going to move over to here, over to this uh, square, and call the cart back. And boom, he's done. So that's that. Uh, that was obviously a lot faster. The, the, the problem, though, here with that, you know, is that we didn't really kill that much. And so we're not going to get much for spoils. Um, you know, I don't know, a couple of kudos there. But uh, really, uh, honestly, I think that this battle is, uh, is really useful for leveling up. Um, and once you've kind of got this strategy down, you can actually just kind of wait uh, and not finish him off so fast, right? Keep, keep the guy taunted if you can. Uh, keep Benedict up there as long as you can as well. Uh, sometimes a healer can help out. I actually didn't even bring one this time, but um, you know the. But it's risky. Uh, the longer that guy lives, the the you know the more likely it is that he's going to one shot somebody, or you know he's gonna half shot someone, and then you know I don't know maybe you're getting shot from behind by arrows and stuff. So uh, you know your mileage will vi definitely vary, but. Um, that's at least, you know, kind of one of the ways that you can kind of get around how strong that guy is. Um, and, uh, and you know, I don't know. It's kind of fun, too. It's, it's kind of fun running the guy over with a card a bunch of times. <laughs> so, um, all right. So that is it. That's my alternative strategy uh, for the, uh, the minecart madness. <laughs> all right. Uh, as always, hope the guide was helpful, and thank you for watching.